Hi, Tom Greaves here. In this video, we're going to show how to set the coordinate system on the tablet using Phi 3D. This works for version 2.0 or newer for Phi 3D. So the first step is to load Phi 3D. And then I'm going to load a scene that we've captured previously. And I'm going to pick a file that's already been optimized. So we're loading that up. Just uh, zoom a little bit. And then to set the coordinate system, I select the chords uh, tab on the top of the screen here, like so. And the first thing we see is the familiar coordinate axes, the RGB uh, colors, red for X, Y is always green, and uh, the convention is that Z is always blue. So we can see uh, immediately this um, uh, the origin of the data here is sort of floating in space. That's the optical center of the camera when we started scanning. And the z-axis is pointed in the direction that the camera was facing at the beginning of the collection. So that's uh, somewhat uh, arbitrary. Typically we'd like to have z up and that's what we're going to do next. We're going to we're going to set Z up. But before we do that, we're going to shift the origin from this uh, optical center of the camera when we started collecting to some other point. We have a couple of modes for doing this. Uh, first of all, we can just say set origin. So I hit the set origin button. And then I pick a point where I would like the origin to move to. So I pick that point there and I've got the origin. You'll notice that it changes color. Uh, it turns purple. So we've set the origin down there. Um, another way to go is to pick a point in the scene and assign it a coordinate value or a control point. It's not an origin, strictly speaking. It's a control point. But we might get to have that control point from a CAD file, say. So I'm going to show that. Um, we have to go back to reset to the initial coordinate system. Then we hit the set coordinate button. I'll show the info tab there. Um, and then we're going to set the uh, set the coordinate, and so um, I'm asked uh, to define that coordinate. Um, first of all, I can set the units. I'm going to stay with meters. The point that I'm going to identify is going to have the coordinate value. X is going to be 1, Y is going to be 5, and Z is going to be 10. Uh, of course, this is completely under my control. And then when I pick a point in the scene, it will be assigned that value of 1, 5, 10. So um, I'm just going to pick a point. I'm actually going to pick something close to the center of that target. Uh, it could be anywhere in the scene that I know. Okay, so that point has the value uh, 1, 5, 10. So um, I'm going to go back. We're going to set the put the origin down on the, on the ground down here. And next we want to set the coordinate axes. So the first axis I'm going to set is the z-axis. And the way Phi 3D works is that we um, pick a point uh, in a plane. So I select the z-axis. I pick a point in the plane. I'm going to pick one there. And what happens is the software uh, grabs a bunch of points around that point I selected makes a patch, and then fits a plane to that patch of data. You can see that patch. It's blue. And sets the z-axis perpendicular to that patch. Similarly, we can set the x-axis or the y-axis. And we can do these in any order using these selects. Um, I can I actually, I'll, I'll set the x-axis. I was just showing how you would set it if it were y. And I'm going to set the x-axis perpendicular to this uh, face of this pad. So I select that and I pick a point here and the software grabs a patch of points around the point that I've selected and fits the x -axis, sets the x-axis perpendicular to that uh, patch of data. So it's as easy as that. We've uh, set up a, a coordinate system for this data uh, with the origin down here it's colored purple and with the axes aligned to something sensible for this scene. 
Um, so next, when we save this data, we'll go File, Save Scene, and I'm going to just annotate it with an underscore C uh, on the end of the file, just to let myself know that uh, I've set the coordinates for this file. I hit Continue to Save, and I'm given some choices when I, when I save. Um, I can set a transform as user defined, and when I use user defined, it will use the coordinate system that I've just set up. The other choices are to set the applied transform to none, and that would keep the coordinate system that the data was originally captured in. Another choice is to select Z is up, and what's going on there is that we use the inertial sensors on the tablet to determine gravity and set z parallel to gravity. And um, that's a, a crude measure. The inertial sensors on these tablets have their limitations. So um, uh, you do that when, when you don't have other good choices. Anyway, we're going to stay with the user defined and we save the scene. And I've already done this, uh, obviously, on this tablet earlier because it's asking me if I can overwrite the file. I'm going to say yes. And then we save the scene. And this file, this file with the suffix underscore C on it, when we bring that into our CAD or GIS system, that uh, coordinate transformation, the rotation and translation that I just set up, will be preserved. Similarly, when we export the file, we're given choices. I'm going to export this as a PTS file. And just call it PTS1, I hit continue, and again I'm given the choices of setting the transform for user-defined uh, Z up or simply none. That's uh, under my control. Um, we'll talk about the applied transform um, option for control targets in, in another video. So save scene and we're done. That file when we bring it into another point cloud tool or a CAD application, Z will be up.